So here's a question involving vectors and a proof. You're asked to prove for all vectors u, v, and w that the following associative law for vector addition applies. Okay, so before we get down to that though, what is the point of this law? Okay, we can probably prove it, and we probably look, you probably look at it and you go, yeah, I believe that, I think that's true. But the question is why? Why would you want to know something like that? Yes? Is it so you could split uh, vector which has x and y and its individual values? Sure, yes. Yep, that's one reason. Any other? So that's really good. Anyone else know? So splitting it into different parts or different components, different elements perhaps. Anyone else? Yes? Yes, that's, that, that's perfect. Okay, so it doesn't matter which way you do the additions. If you do say, you know, if, you've got th if you're adding three vectors together and you add these two first and then you add that one, it's going to be the same as if you add those two first and then add that one. Okay, so it doesn't matter which way you do it, which, which way around you do them, um, which order you do them, um, which makes perfect sense. Okay, now why did I say before that proofs involving these sort of things are pretty easy. Well, it all just goes back to what you know about real numbers, okay? Because you work in what's called a component-wise component fashion with these things. Let me show you what I mean, okay? All right, so let's call this star and do the old chestnut where you show the left-hand side equals the right-hand side, right? All right, now I'm gonna write this out in component form. Okay, so it's something like this. All right, so there I've written them out in column or com uh, column form, and the u sub ones, u sub two, u sub three, they're all real numbers. Okay. And how do we define addition between, say, two column vectors? You just add the corresponding components together, right? Which are all real numbers. So we know we know the, the basic laws from real numbers, yeah? So this is like in uh, column form, I guess, with components. Yeah? Okay. So vector addition you know in these big brackets you just work component wise okay that's how we define vector addition yeah okay Yeah. Okay, so we can actually, we don't actually need that bracket there. But, so we've got two, basically two vectors now that we want to add together. Again, you just do it, do it in the component wise style. Okay, so let me just do that again and bracket these guys up because they're coming from over here and I'm adding the VIs to them. Okay, again, it's the vector addition. Now, what I can do, this is where it gets pretty easy. I can now rearrange each component because they're just real numbers and we know um, that the laws hold for real numbers, right? So I can rearrange those brackets because I know it doesn't matter which order I add real numbers in, okay? the associative law for addition of real numbers. Okay? 
So now, what you can do is unpack that back into the vector form. Okay? Alright, so we want to unpack that until we get to there. Okay, so just using, again, vector addition. Okay, in a component-wise fashion. Then I can work on this one. Again, vector addition. And that should be the right hand side. Yes. So we're pretty happy. Okay, so the important part of that is to see the big picture, right? Doesn't matter which order you add vectors in, you should get the same answer. And secondly, the proofs are pretty easy because you can just work in a component-wise fashion on real numbers. Okay, and we know that, that these, these rules hold for real numbers.